In September of 2008, reports of unexplained mass suicide swept the globe as thousands of individuals ranging from the age of 12 to 24 tragically took their lives for unknown reasons. The very idea of so many youths committing such a terrible act is flabbergasting, with no initial explanation surrounding these events in sight. However, due to recent reports leaked from top-secret government files, it is now reasonable to assume that the culprit may have been an unusual email sent around the world by an individual whose email account was deemed untraceable by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Evidence from suicide notes suggests that this email contained a link to a strange website called reficklefotson.com. The information gathered surrounding these strange events states that the website's background portrays grotesque images of what appear to be mutilated infant corpses which seem to have a deep red blood leaking from empty eye sockets, and in the center of the page a single video. It is believed that this video will take a different form to any one individual witnessing it, but one factor remains common to all known cases. It will consistently portray the observer's violent death. When interrogated, Google employees have claimed no knowledge of any website called Rafikal Fotsen, and it seems the website was actually up for only a month before being closed for unknown reasons. This site has not appeared in any user's internet history, regardless of whether they deleted it or not. The following is a note recovered from the late Jason Forsyth, who tragically took his own life on September 25th, 2008. To my family and friends, I beg your forgiveness for this selfish act I am about to commit. I only hope you'll find it within your caring hearts to understand my reasons for this act. When I received the email, I assumed it to be nothing more than the tiresome spam I usually receive, and I reluctantly clicked on the link contained therein. I saw the video. I saw the fucking video. I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have clicked it, but my curiosity got the better of me. I pressed play. The video showed. It showed me. My god, I could scarcely watch the damn thing. It showed me. It showed me sitting there. It showed me sitting at my desk, at my computer, when this... this... thing... appeared behind me, and the video turned blood red. The thing looked like a naked humanoid with no visible sexual organs. The being did not appear to have eyes, and it opened. It opened its mouth and devoured me. I screamed as I was being devoured. There was so, so much blood. It made me sick. I'm sorry. Sometime after the disappearance of RefickleFotson.com, Intelligence agencies across the world received an email from an unidentified email address. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. We have no idea if this website will ever return to the internet, but just in case, do yourself a favor that might just save your life. Never, ever log on to RefickleFotson.com. You have been warned.